The Nationals have made a move. Jamer Candelario will be joining the roster for the 2023 season on a one-year major league contract. The former Tigers third baseman should have the opportunity to compete for the third base spot, but he's also able to play first base, DH, or maybe even left field if need be. Candelario was signed by the Chicago Cubs in 2010 out of the Dominican Republic at age 17, and he played his entire minor league career with that organization before he was traded in 2017 to the Tigers. He was solid as a young player in 2018, but in 2019 he battled injury and struggled mightily. Luckily, Candelario was on a rebuilding team that was willing to keep giving him chances, and he took advantage of that opportunity. He broke out during the 60-game 2020 season and carried that momentum over to 2021, where he finished with a 271, 351, 443 slash line. Expectations were higher than ever for Candelario and this Tigers roster heading into 2022, as they were expected to continue rising in a weak AL Central division. But just one year later, Candelario was finished in Detroit. Why? He's a switch hitter who has shown some ability to hit for power in years past and walk at a high rate, and he has a solid glove at the hot corner, so why is the 29-year-old Candelario only worthy of getting a one-year deal with a completely different organization? It all has to do with last season. The 2022 Detroit Tigers took a massive step backward after overperforming in 2021. They were, by far, the worst offensive team in Major League Baseball last season, and a big part of that was Candelario's regression. Jamer had the worst hitting season of his career, batting just 217, 272, 361 with 13 homers. His strikeout rate went up and his walk rate went down, and his poor hitting seemed to carry over into his defense because he also had his lowest outs above average mark of his career. While all of that sounds scary if you're a Nats fan, there's reason to believe Candelario has a chance to rebound in 2023. For starters, Candelario wasn't the only player on the 2022 Tigers that struggled at the plate. All of them did. No, really, the 2022 Tigers were one of the worst hitting teams in recent history. None of the Tigers opening day starters finished with an OPS plus over 100, meaning none of them could even be considered above average. So what, I'm supposed to believe that a coaching staff that would allow Javi Baez to swing at pitches like these actually knows what they're doing? There's also Comerica Park, a cavernous yard where fly balls go to die, and Jamer certainly felt those effects last year as he hit far better away from home. Finally, there was an injury. Candelario dealt with a shoulder issue in the first half of the season that he eventually went on the injured list for, and after returning from injury, had a much more productive second half of 2022 so maybe health was an issue early on. Overall, this is a smart signing from the Nationals. Bounce back candidates on one-year deals are exactly what they should be looking for, and they found the first one. There's options here. If he plays well, you can trade him for a prospect or even give him an extension. If he sucks, fine. He's off the books next year and we can regroup in 2024. And this just in, Baldy's on a roll and he's also signed outfielder Stone Garrett, previously of the Arizona Diamondbacks. The 27-year-old Garrett will join an outfield group of Lane Thomas, Victor Robles, and Alex Call, all competing for playing time. Garrett has the most power upside of these players as he fits the power hitting corner outfield archetype, but his high K rate and low walk rate make him a boomer bust hitter. He did see success in a small sample size with the Diamondbacks late last season, slashing 276, 309, 539 with four homers in 27 games. However, some of his peripheral stats aren't as favorable. Still, if he can manage to replicate those numbers, it'll be tough to keep him out of the lineup. Also, sick name. Do you like these signings? Let us know in the comments below and follow us on Twitter for more updates. See you in the next video. Peace.